Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got a one-off Wednesday. Yeah, check this baby out. This is sweet. Yeah, I can't believe I've got one of these. Anyway, what we're looking at today, let's get right into it. Welcome to Rover Land, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. And look at this Land Rover. It's a Range Rover. Range Rover Sport by Maisto. Yeah, this is Maisto All-Stars Players. Yeah, we got the Players Edition going on here. Range Rover Sport. Well, let's first talk a little bit about Maisto while we look around the uh, box here. Uh, obviously, this is the one and only that I have. This is a 118 scale and uh, die cast model. Now, this is kind of a premiere uh, from what I found for information. Kind of a premiere. Um, uh, die cast collection of theirs, but anyway, Maisto, and a lot of you have heard of them because uh, they do uh, sell in Walmart and stuff like that. Not too much uh, the one eighteenth scale, but they do sell uh, Maisto at Walmart and other other stores like that. But anyway, Maisto uh, International Inc., privately held company in. Fontana, California, and that's where they have their headquarters at. Uh, you can just Google them, uh, Fontana, ca categorized as a toy manufacturer, I guess, you know, and uh, established in 1992 with, get this, like $13 million annual sales, and uh, they staff about 47 people, but uh, there you go. But this is from what I could gather a premiere series and you see on the back uh, license plate uh, players uh, so yeah not uh, not a lot of information about these you know these are um, well this one here let's take a look at the bottom here uh, they do a lot of other uh, brands obviously and uh, but they did a Land Rover yeah, a Range Rover, and of course I picked that up. This one I did buy in the store. I couldn't tell you where exactly where I bought it. Um, trying to, trying to. Oh man, I got the hood open, but it ain't gonna stay open. Oh, easy, easy. You can see this has got some detail, gold and silver details, in under the hood there. Uh, pretty nice details. So the hood opens. Let's see if we can get it around here without it shutting oh yeah we can't see too much more uh but there you go the hood opens there's a nice yeah two-tone color chrome on the uh, detailing of the motor there so really kind of cool there i like that yeah and then the uh doors do open just the front doors the the back doors don't open and then the rear tailgate uh one big huge uh, the rear tailgate opens up and you probably can't see it. It's got uh, massive sound systems in the back. Now this one here came out apparently 2007. Yeah, uh, that's what I, uh, the box I think says that somewhere around here. Yeah, 2007, something like that. Uh, back when... Uh, well, uh, Hot Wheels was doing uh, Drop Star and things like that, so Maisto got on board there and uh, did their own version of that kind of deal. They got some uh, special wheels there featuring uh, wheels by, um, I don't know, Forged Mongular Wheels. Mod modular. Yeah, there you go. GFG. I'm not really familiar with those people, but uh, yeah, there you go. Um, interestingly enough, I did see and I did find out that um, there were um, three colors apparently this came in. Now this is uh, a pearl white 
and uh, just a just a nice detail. They got brake calipers down in there, big old rims. Look at them, big old rims. Yeah, they got rubber band tires, as I heard one guy describe them. But uh, pretty good details on the inside, uh, two tone. Um, they came out with a black one, and then uh, during that time, a uh, burnt orange which also is um, sparkly as well. I think the black had some kind of a sparkle to it as well. But, um, uh, and from what I saw, the burnt orange one, I think calls for a little bit more price. That, that was what I found to date is uh, someone was claiming that that one was the hardest, uh, more rare one. I'm not really sure about that, but this is, this is the only one I found. Really good details. They've got, uh, you know, a lot of pieces. Actually, Maisto, um, I believe they sell in Costco also. Uh, not really too much uh, Range Rovers anymore. It, I don't think that they have the licensing or whatnot anymore. But uh, just, just really kind of cool. I want to get zoom in here a little bit on that uh, motor yeah supposedly well back in the day uh what was it the range rover sport has been produced since the summer of 2005 supercharged 2.5 liter v8 Roof! yeah <laughs> there you go <laughs> there you go so very powerful uh they nowadays uh, you know i don't have the specs right here but yeah they are um the, the Sport has really gotten uh, carried away with the engine size and supercharged. Yeah, I'm trying to see back there. Can you see back there? You can see the, the sound system that they got. On the back window, they got the player's uh, uh, I got logo, I guess, that they had. So that that's pretty cool. But they have uh, a lot of nice details. You know, they've got the, the chrome... Uh, air vent you know i mean it's a mock-up but uh but yeah marker lights chrome on the handle door handles there very nice this has got a sunroof on it little uh d-dad doodad on the back there i don't know if that's the backup camera or if that's uh sat sat phone com there <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure 2007 what they all had there right but uh, very nice, uh, several piece um, uh, insert for the for the tail lights. The multicolored there. Uh, it's very nice, very nice chrome pipes out the back. It's a very nice try. It would be nice to to find another one of these, but you know the series I believe only ran for that one year, 2007, uh, from what I could find. And uh, so I think that's why they're, uh, you know, calling for such a price uh, on eBay and such like that. You can see on the back window there, up by the third tail brake light there, uh, the player's uh, signia there again. So very, very nice. I like this. I would, like I say, yeah, it would be nice to have other ones. Uh, I would like to find one that's loose. You know, some kids kind of tired of it finally with the big donk wheels i don't know if they call them donk or not but but yeah those are some crazy rims i tell you crazy yeah not my style i i don't mind uh big old rims and tires and stuff like that lowered look i really don't mind that but uh that's a little bit too much for me uh but yeah look at the nice detail there for the the headlights there you know even the turn signal lights there are uh, colored too but it looks like the the headlight has got some depth to it it's not just uh you know um two-dimensional it looks three-dimensional even the uh even the uh driving lights on the bottom have got some some details but you can see down there it's uh bolted and screwed down to a base pretty pretty nice but like i say yeah maestro does quite a bit of uh today they do large scale, 118 scale uh, models. Uh, I, I saw on YouTube that, uh, yeah, guys are going to Costco. That's kind of like a, 
members only or a bulk bulk sale uh, type uh, grocery store while well, they do everything but uh, we don't have any of those around here where I'm at so I, I I'm out of luck there but I don't think they do any more Range Rover so it don't don't make much difference to me so there you go thank you very much for joining me today on a one up Wednesday we got a Range Rover for your viewing pleasure thank you once again hey if you like this video go ahead and like give it the big thumbs up hey tell your friends to subscribe share this video we've got more stuff to come 2020 look out <laughs> all right and all you Range Rover loving fools remember slow traffic keep right and have a great Rover day